wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Hey, whatever, girl. Grab my glasses, I'm out the door. I'm gonna hit this city. So this is the end chronicle. What's up, everybody? It's KB. Also, Bera Hicks, whatever you call me. Um, I know I've been taking a long break. Not a long break, but it has been a little minute since I posted a video, and I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. I plan to come back with some new and improved videos. Also, changing my editing a little bit, so have fun watching the rest of this video. But, yeah, the purpose of this vlog is diary today I really don't know what like this vlog would be a surprise vlog to you and me because I don't know what I'm doing today so that's exciting but what I do know is that I need to go make myself look presentable and then I may go do a few instacarts today and then y'all can hear me ranting about some of these Instacart batches. But yeah, for the rest of the day, I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> anyway, let's get into the video. So, I think, hold on y'all, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I think all of my roommates are moving out. Hold on, wait, why am I so bright? But, yeah, I think I'm about to get this apartment to myself because my roommates were here for In the Heights. But now that the show is over because the show closed yesterday, they're, um, they've been packing. So I'm going to have a spot to myself. Anyway, let's go. So I just got an uh, Instacart batch. It's like a quick one. It's like nine items. Um... Is she going to answer? But yeah, it's like nine items. So this shouldn't be too bad. Oh. But we'll see. Oh, I just realized that I'm walking out here with my bonnet on. And y'all didn't want to tell me because um, this was on accident. I'm not trying to go to the store like this. Uh, I guess I'm about to take this off. I can't believe I walked out like this. Anyway, so let me tell y'all what I was doing for like a little minute before I did, well, I accepted this Instacart order. So I, not this heat fogging up my camera. Now my camera's saying it's too hot. It's too smoky. Y'all hold on while I clean my camera. Not it was a wasp. What is it with wasp over here? Where'd they go? I swear I'd just be embarrassing myself. I know somebody's seen that. Anyway, I think I'm good now. Um, hopefully, me and Waspy ain't in this car together. Cause one of us going down. Yeah, now let's go to the store, y'all. So let's see, everybody say hi to Neptune. She can't hear you all. But um, so we have a 12 item order. I don't know how I'm doing this at the same time. We'll see. I don't know why people are looking at me like that. Hey, like, dang, am I in the business that pays you? But, what are we doing first?
I'm gonna come back on here when I'm at checkout. So give me a second. Deli chaos order number 70, 72, 78. Are ready for pickup at your convenience. Um, yeah, I think I did the wrong thing. But we're gonna keep it pushing. I hate you, I'm getting out of the thing you want, but I don't stay away. And y'all, I lied. I came back before I checked out. I got one more item. It's nothing but a mess. I'm not saying it's not working. Hold on. Why you making problems? I've been silent. Why you making problems? I'm a problem. They're gonna put some of these groceries up. Well, let me tell y'all right quick. Quick little rant, quick little story time. So, I don't know, somebody getting towed. But, I hate when I be talking to people, you know, that. Anyway, quick little rant. So I hate when I'm like asking somebody that works there for help or whatever, and you try to have an attitude with me. Babe, I didn't tell you to get this job, okay? I'm sorry, you know, America is cruel and all. We gotta pay bills some way, but don't be catching an attitude with me. So I went to go check out the food or whatever, and the stupid self-checkout be doing like that. Help is on the way if you like, if you do one small little thing, so I'm like, oh God, like I don't even need help. I don't know why this thing is doing this on the computer screen. Anyway, I'm trying to ask the lady like, hey, you know, can you come get this off the screen so I can finish checking out these items? And she's acting like, oh, what do you want me to do? Like she can't really do anything about it when all she got to do is like swipe her card or whatever. So I'm like, can you get this off the screen? Then she starts asking me questions about the order and I'm like, it's, it's Instacart. And she was like, oh, that's probably why. So then I put in the number again in front of her and it worked. Cause I was like, don't try to play me. Okay, I've been doing this for a little minute. But yeah, she started walking off with like a little attitude and it's like, let me get, let me get the F up out of here. I'm like, don't be, don't be pouting and stuff and walking around with a sour face. Cause you gotta work, babe. Calm it down. But now we gotta go drop these groceries off to these people. It's hot as, it's hot as Satan's ass. But let's, let's go finish this order. Oh, and before I forget, so that woman, I was kind of like showing the back of her head. I don't know whether she got extensions or that's a wig, but so, just a side note, there's a lot of white people in Pennsylvania. Like, it's really crazy. You don't see a lot of black people like that. But anyway, um, so I'm in the checkout line, you know, just chilling, minding my business. And she kept looking at me in the corner for I like trying to move her little cart forward and stuff. Anytime that I was close, cause I was looking for like chips and stuff. And I was like, uh-uh, so I had to show y'all. But yeah, I dropped off the order, and now I gotta go back to the dorm because a kid forgot her phone charger, and I can't really do Instacart, so I'm a dead phone. So, um, yeah, but it's cool because I want to wait until the sun goes down anyway because I'm burning up. Y'all can't see, I'm, I'm, I'm brown-orange right now. I'm flustered. It's really hot out here. It makes no sense. And I'm talking about moving to Texas. But uh, I had to take a quick little detour because I'm headed to my job right quick because I have a package delivered up here. So, and then I'm going back to my dorm for real. 
Yeah, I bagged me some um some tacos for my coworkers. Since I was here, she was so nice to give me these some chicken tacos. Hello, hello, hello. Secure the package. And I'm gonna go home and find something to do with my life. Made it back inside and yes, I put the bonnet on. Um, what, what should I do now? Oh. Thanks to my coworker, let me show y'all. Thanks to her, I don't gotta worry about lunch cause a kid got these chicken tacos. Um, then I went to the store and got me some snacks. So, I'm pretty much covered, I would think. I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna come talk to you again if I have anything interesting to say. Wanted to show y'all the chicken taco that I got from her. We're gonna do like a little taste review. I added some sour cream and uh, mild taco sauce cause I don't be liking no dry tacos. I don't wanna be choking. Okay, so I need something that's <laughs> will help the food slide okay. down. You know what I'm saying? But look. But let's try it and rate it one through ten. Dog, if I can, y'all see me? If I can pick it up, but I'm gonna taste it real quick and see. Mmm. Mmm. Real tasty, real good. Mmm. Mm. The chicken is very flavorful. It has a lot of cheese in it. The sour cream and the taco sauce helped. The 8 out of 10. Anyways, I did my hair. Let me give y'all a close up. Okay, don't talk about my parts. And if you do talk about my parts, you're anti-black. Yeah, yeah. But you see, you see, I gotta redo my hair. I know, y'all. The yellow isn't cute. Anyway, did my hair, um, and chill it for a little bit play the game i've been playing the quarry i don't know if y'all play that but that was smooth and now and now and now let me stop um i'm trying to find me some jogging pants so i can go outside and chill with some of my co-workers for a bit but I can't find my oh. I'm out here in Miami looking for the hoochie daddies I don't even know if they say that so I'll be out there for a moment and I'll show y'all the little fire pit and them talking, it's all so cute. You feel like, you feel like a little family bonding out there. Um, trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Got my computer, cause I'm gonna go out there and read some plays, I guess. But I don't think I'm forgetting anything, so should be good. I'm gonna meet y'all outside. Chair, a chair? Yeah, a chair? Yeah, chair? yeah there's one right off the stage right. <laughs> He's Damn. like, yeah. And I, I just came on and I... I so, <laughs> your girl is back. It's a new day. Um, 
the last video I sent you was like us being around the fire pit. That was pretty calm. I was chilling out there for a bit and then I came back in and I was like, your girl is tired. And it was only 12 o'clock so I know I'm getting old. Um, to today. It is July 4th. Even though I don't really celebrate the holiday because oh, what am I celebrating? But it's July 4th, 112. And I have um, a gathering to go to. It's one of my co-workers. She's having a party, but not a party. It's a social gathering, as I said, at two. So I, I really, maybe I need to put a move on it. But yeah, it's at two. So we need to find a fit for this. I did just want to put on like some sweats and a hoodie because I just want to put on sweats everywhere when that's not the vibe. So let me find something that says, you know, I try, like I put in an effort. I like you new. I like you new. I like you new. And you know I like you new. All right. I'm gonna show y'all. Well, I'm gonna come back and show y'all the pieces that I decided to put together. Okay, so. We got this shirt. It says good vibes. Okay, you can't see the G, but yeah. So this. Um and that but relationship. A regular red shirt. And we got some baggy pants and this looks crazy i'm switching it i just want to let y'all know hey i want it to wear not me struggling but i want it to wear something like cool and casual because it sounds like we'll be doing like some games and stuff so i want to dress very comfortable what is this I don't really like it. So back to the drawing board, give me one second. So this is the fit I have decided to wear because the black gonna do it every time. Let me show y'all the fit. See if you can fully see. It's just black, on black. Yeah, cause black will do it every time for you. You can do no wrong with um, wearing black. So next, y'all it's 1.33, I'm going to be late. I'm pretty sure. But I wanted to try like this it's this thing on TikTok called the unapproachable makeup. And a lot of people are, well, a lot of girls are doing it and trying to see if they can look unapproachable, right? So I want to try it. I don't know if I should try it with this hairstyle, but still it could be cute. So I'm gonna show y'all, why well, my camera leaning? But I'm gonna show y'all like a couple of videos somewhere over here so you can see what the look kind of is showing and what i'm kind of going for so we're going to bring out the makeup bag y'all don't talk about my makeup bag i know i gotta get a new one okay well actually i gotta get one because i never had one um i kind of be embarrassed showing all makeup in here but listen, I was never like a girly girl, so I wasn't into like the makeup bags and all that. But now it's time for one, for real. 
but don't talk about it. So we put some primer on. Y'all can't see it, but it's on. I kind of look good from this angle. Anyway, um, so what? What's the first? Oh, foundation. Right, right. I haven't done makeup in a minute, so bear with me. So this is the end product. We, how do we feel about this? Thing I need to do more makeup. I need to learn how to be better with makeup. But um, yeah, I don't know. Now I'm about to go take all this shit off. Now we're all good, and I am very much late. It's 2:21. And yes, I did take off all of the makeup, only because, only because I'm not a big makeup person, and I really just wanted to try that trend out, and did so. Mission accomplished. I'm a whole hour late. Proud of me. Proud of me for real. But here's it's so pretty. Let me go inside. Uh, let me go. Oh, now they see me. Okay, I'm back like I never left. I don't know what it is for me and recording at nighttime, but as you can see, it barely happens. But anyway. The event, the little gathering we had, it was chill. Y'all, I don't know how I got home last night. I can't even cap to you. Like, I was in my right mind for the most part, but life was looking a little blurry every now and then. But it's okay. We made it. We're here. Um, and I think that's kind of why I didn't record last night because I low-key forgot well, I low-key thought that my camera was in my back seat, only to wake up and see that it was up under my desk. How did that happen? Only God knows. So, um, but let me, let's have a story time, shall we? Cause some crazy stuff has been happening lately. So, I woke up this morning. First off, I woke up cause I heard footsteps and I was like, who was that? Because I know I'm the only person that's here. But yeah, I heard footsteps this morning. And then next thing I know, I see somebody at my door. And she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, oh, like, what do you want? And I'm in a bonnet and everything too. So I'm like, what's happening? Basically, there was some miscommunication. And like all the rest of my roommates are gone. Like I was telling y'all. And some new people are supposed to come in but they were like telling these people like the whole suite is empty i'm still here so um she was asking me for my name and all that good stuff and i'm telling her my name because i'm like god i don't got a reason to lie you know i wasn't just living here for free and for no reason but um so i tell her my name and then I get an email and they're like, oh, have you been living here like the whole time? Because we got you listed down for another building. That building is for the other interns. Technically, I'm not an intern. So I was like, um, yeah, I have been here like the whole time. And I got a key here. Like, how would I live here and I don't have a key? Anyway, so going back and forth with them and I'm like, basically this sounds like a miscommunication issue because in my contract, it says that I'm supposed to be staying here. Anyway, we got that all fixed. They was like, it makes sense now. We got it all figured out. I'm like, yeah, because whoever you told got this room or whoever you told and you was like, yeah, you know, you got room number two, you lied. So you need to go tell them that they don't have this room because I'm staying here. And that would be crazy for me to leave 
in July. But they got everything squared away, which I was glad because I was like, I'm not moving, babe. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not about to move right now. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> I'm glad to give y'all a quick story time, but I'm, I think I'm going to end this slight of vlog, slight video diary. I don't even know what it is anymore. I'm going to end it now and we got to do this again. Like you got to come back and check in. So go like comment and subscribe to the page and um you know let's be friends let's see the memories here that i create and the story times and the crazy stories and the experiences but um yes yeah, so i'm gonna see y'all later this was fun